Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Transfer Stories. For the first time in this series I'm covering two players in one video. The first one's going to be obviously my thumbnail. Uh, Kante could have been on his way out and you'll obviously see the cover of the thumbnail. And the other one is Ryan Fraser. What I possibly think about where he could end up at the end of his contract which runs out on the 30th of June. But anyway guys, a lot to cover, a lot to talk about, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, Kante could be on his way to Chelsea for the fee of Toma to help Chelsea pay off this fee for Toma winner. Sorry if I mispronounced his name, but I probably have somewhere across the line. Kante is, you know, contracted to the 30th of June 2023, so if Real Madrid do want to come in for him, and they do want to buy him, they're going to have to buy out his contract as well as the transfer fee. I think it could be a good move for Kante. I think he struggles to get into the Chelsea team from time to time. And now this transfer thing's lifted with Chelsea, I think he more likely would be on his way out. But we're going to have to wait to see what happens. He's 29 years old. So, you know, he's just nearly reaching the peak of his career, probably just past it, if I'm not being too harsh. But I'd like to actually see Kente getting the shot at Real Madrid. Obviously, I don't really see much of the Chelsea shirt in the near future, with only 18 appearances to his name this season for Chelsea in the Premier League. I do think that signing him back within 2016, around about 32 million, and, um, you know, 2016, so we're nearly, what, nearly at a five-year contract going into next year. So, possibly try to move on for Kente. Um, but this could be an interesting story going a lot forward with Kente and to see if he does end up leaving the club. Tom has obviously paid the transfer fee for Tom or Wenner. He's got two citizenships, one in Mail and one in France. Sorry if I mispronounced that mail, that's how I'm gonna you know say it. As I said, sorry if I mispronounced it. Obviously he's got a World Cup to his name, they won the World Cup back in 2018 and he was part of the 25 man squad who went out to Russia and won the World Cup. So, you know, Real Madrid will be getting their money's worth with Kente. I did actually watch the Real Madrid Valencia game last night and I think it will suit his style of play. But, you know, signing him way back in 2016, he's had a good few years with Chelsea. Perhaps time to move on to future his career. With 18 appearances, three goals to his name, so, you know. But this season really ain't got going for him, considering we are pushing the end of the season, obviously after a Premier League restart. The next game Chelsea was is playing is against Aston Villa, so is that possibly the last time we'll see Kante in the Chelsea shirt? As I said, contracted till 2023, so he's still coming up to two years left on his contract, 29 years old. This will be probably a, you know, appearing a lot on this channel with the likes of, you know, Transfer Complete. So this will be definitely a story I would be watching out for on my channel, and the best way to do that is subscribe and hit your notification bell so you never miss an upload. And um, my next Premier League predictions will be Tuesday, so, you know, it's going to be a quick turnaround as well. Ryan Fraser, he's refused to sign a contract for Bournemouth, for whatever reason, why? Probably time to move on, 26 years old, so, you know, with the likes of, you know, his age, the time of his career, he, I think he wants to move. He will be a freebie after the 30th of June this year so you know someone's got to be getting a nice player for free no transfer fees involved he signed back with Bournemouth back in 2013 for four about around about 4k and he did go loan um, spells with Itchwich before getting into the Bournemouth first team so you know 2013 we're saying what seven years down the line with one club it could possibly be a right time to move for Ryan. I really do think that. If Ryan does go, best of luck to the lad. 
I've seen him play a few times uh, with the likes of Bournemouth and he's a very good winger so whoever does get him is getting a real, real steal. Where do I think he'd go? Obviously playing on the left hand side. I think he'd go to Arsenal. There's been a lot of expectation around Ryan Fraser going to Arsenal over the past few years, over the past few windows. So I think Arsenal will be his best bet and that's the colour I'm going to go for. Yet again, there will be another video popping up on this story as it develops, if it develops. So, you know, as I said, the best way to keep up to date is to subscribe and hit your notification bell so you never miss an upload. But I think this would be the right time for Ryan. As I said, best of luck to him if he does move on. Obviously, he's going to move on because he's refused to sign a new contract. 26 years old, so he's a bit older than me by, I don't know how many months, but he's just slightly older than me. Signed back for Bournemouth back in 2013, so as I said, just speaking of seven years at one club, which is an amazing achievement for Ryan. He plays on the left, and the reason I choose Arsenal over their London rivals Tottenham, or with every other, any other club he's been linked to, is because I looked at their left, their left side of midfield, and they haven't got like a real left midfield player, so I think Ryan will definitely be heading off to Arsenal. But as I said, the best way to keep up to date is by subscribing to my channel and turn on your notification bell and just watch out for this story in the future. But anyway guys, you know what to do here so big fun that you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.